Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today I'm gonna review two different products from Techno. Now these were sent to me so I can give you guys an unbiased review. Now we're gonna check out both of these uh, earphones. Now I've been using them for maybe about a week, both of them on and off. And I've been using them for more than 10 hours, so they're pretty much broken in. Now, I'm a big believer in breaking your earphones or headphones in, so keep that in mind. Make sure you guys break in your earphones or headphones. That being said, let me start by talking about uh, these truly wireless earbuds. These are the Techno HiPods H2. I'm gonna leave links below to the Amazon links. These retail for around $20, and uh, they do have Bluetooth 5.0, as you can see right there. And they do have six millimeter drivers, which is not bad. It's not the best, but you know, they're okay. Now these are the Bravo B1s and these have 13.6 millimeter dynamic drivers. And these retail for $30, but are they worth the money? Let's find out. Okay, moving on to the accessories. Now, the first accessory we get is some extra earbuds for these uh, truly wireless earbuds. So we get two extra ones and then we also get a decent uh, micro USB cable. Now it's not type C, but for $20, we're not gonna kill them for that. That being said, we also, for the other earbuds, we do get more stuff with that. We get some extra wings for your ears and extra earbuds. And then we also get a decent size micro USB cable. Now for these, because they were more expensive, they're $30. Maybe they could have gone with type C, but the micro USB works and they give you everything you need. So I'm gonna give them thumbs up for that. Now let's move on. Okay, moving on to the build quality. So we're gonna start with the Bravos. Now, as you can see, these have magnets, kind of like the Beats X. Now they do have a volume rocker there and they play in pause, which is very nice. Also a mic, and that's where your charging port lives, uh, right here in this little port. There you go, so that's the port for that so you can charge them and then this is where you it goes around your neck and has a nice uh, kind of like a silicone material feels pretty good they don't feel cheap for $30 they have a nice uh, nice feel to them and then as you can see there has nice red finish looks cool I think they look very nice I think the build quality is as good as the Beats Flex that I review on my channel. For that, you should go check out my uh, channel and look at the Beats Flex review I did. Now, this is where I was more impressed with the Techno uh, Truly Wireless Earbuds. For $20, the case feels pretty nice. Has uh, an LED in the front, has your charging port there. It says Techno. And then that's where your earbuds live. Now they do turn on. They do have uh, decent magnets. Not the best, but for 20 bucks, the magnets are pretty nice. And they don't feel really cheap. So I was actually impressed. And then they also have touch controls. I was actually impressed with the build quality on these for $20. That's pretty nice. That's a plus in my book. So for the hardware for both of them, I think it's pretty nice, so I'm gonna give them thumbs up. Now let's move on. Okay, moving on to sound quality. Now, some of the albums I used to test both of these earphones out, I did play some Mac Miller, some Jesse Reyes, some Michael Jackson, and I also played the Game of Thrones season seven soundtrack. Now I played other tracks, but those are the albums I remember playing. Now let's first talk about the bass. And I'm gonna talk on both of these headphones, my experiences with them on the bass. 
And let me tell you, if you're a big bass head and you only care about bass, you're gonna love both of these. Now, I did notice that the Bravos, which are these, have a little bit more bass, but they both are very good with the bass. Um, they're gonna sometimes, you know, you're gonna feel the thumps. They have a warm sound, keep that in mind. But the separation between the mids and the bass was pretty good in my opinion. I was actually impressed. And I'm gonna tell you, when I uh, listened to these, you know, these are $30, so I kind of knew what I was kind of was gonna get. And they both sound really loud. But where I was really impressed was with these because this gave me almost or pretty much around the same quality of sound that these gave me, but these are $10 cheaper and they're truly wireless. So that's why I was very impressed with the sound on these. For the bass, they both have bass. The bass was pretty good in my opinion. I was happy with it. So I'm gonna give them thumbs up for the bass. Now let's move on. Okay, moving on to mids and highs. Now, with every headphone that emphasize more on the bass, you're gonna feel sometimes that the mids are not as clear as you would like. Usually you get better mids when you get a balanced sound, stuff like that. When there's like a lot, a lot of bass, you have to understand that, that sometimes, you know, the bass is gonna overpower the mids at times. And this is what these headphones do because they do emphasize on bass. The mids sound fine, but they're not gonna blow your mind or anything. They don't sound super clear, but definitely they're passable, in my opinion, above average. And that's what I, you know, that's what I was expecting. I mean, for the price, you're not breaking your bank. So I wasn't expecting to have, you know, the super clearest mids ever or even the highs but they're passable they i mean uh, mids and highs are passable they sound pretty good um i wasn't gonna be complaining because you know i was i enjoyed listening to these because they do get loud and you know they're passable again they don't sound trash or anything like that so i was actually happy listening to these the price of admission is not very high so i was comfortable in paying the money with this with the sound that i got I was pretty good, especially if you're going in buying these, knowing that they're more uh, bass heavy, uh, warm sound. So keep that in mind before buying. But uh, for the mids and highs, I would say they're passable. So let's move on. Okay, moving on to my final thoughts. So in the beginning of the review, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? In my opinion, they are now let me explain why you get very nice sound for a, an extremely low price now these here are very nice they have better battery life and call quality was a little bit better than the techno keep that in mind so if you're looking for better battery life and um be better battery life and to talk on the phone you might want to go with these but again, you do have to carry no, carry them on your neck, whereas these are truly wireless. Now the battery life is not as good as these. I believe the box says up to six hours of battery life. So depending on the volume as well, because at 60% volume, so if you play it at 100%, uh, it's 4.5, so kind of, what you will get with AirPods, but you're only paying $20. So this is what impressed me the most because for $20, the sound was impressive. They got very loud, even though they're more of a warmer sound, more bass heavy earphones, I was satisfied with the sound. And you know, for the $20, I was actually happy of paying the price of admission for these techno earbuds. Even though they're micro USB, that didn't bother me because $20 is very low on the price and you get nice sound. Now I've always said that here on my channel is sound first. Now you get kind of a similar sound between these two earbuds. Uh, they, they both have bass heavy uh, sound, 
mids and highs they're just passable so you know nothing to brag about or anything like that um but the sound was definitely passable none of these earbuds are uh, trash in my opinion they're both good but i don't think if you show these earbuds here and you tell anybody i don't think they will tell you that they think these are 20 dollar earbuds they feel the case feels pretty good and they sound pretty good so i will compare the sound to uh, to these uh to maybe something like a 60 dollar earbud 70 dollar earbud maybe both of these these actually sounded as good as the beats flex with a little bit more bass i know the the beats flex maybe sounded a a little bit more clear but these gave me more bass and i was happy with that and they sounded louder than the beats at beats flex as well keep that in mind now bluetooth range they were on par with other earbuds they gave me around 30 to 35 feet so that's you know decent i am going to recommend these both of these earbuds i think uh let me show you again. These are the Techno Hypods H2. And these are the Bravo B1s. I'm gonna leave links below on Amazon so you guys can go check both of these earbuds out. Um, they're very, I'm re very recommending them um, because they sound pretty good. But I would say $20, go pick these up. You're gonna like them, in my opinion. They were impressive to me so that was my review check out all my videos subscribe thumbs up and i'll see you guys next time